Well, hello there, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you back now from beautiful San Antonio, Texas. The second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. And you know it. Come on now. Would you sell your soul for 14 bucks? What do I mean by that? This is actually a confession. I'm going to make a confession right now. And I like making confessions so that people understand everybody deals with the same stuff. Okay? So we are back from our family getaway. And we rented a really a great vehicle because when you have a lot of kids, renting a great vehicle is a great idea. And <clears throat> get this. This is so ridiculous. Okay? It's a rental car, right? You fill it back up with gas, right? Well, this particular car has a little thing on the gas cap that says premium unleaded fuel required okay get this now guys i love jesus and i got some hood still up in there that i keep really shut down most of the time so i go to fill up the car with gas and i notice that the premium is like 280 and the um and the regular is what a buck 95 and the I've taught you guys this, if you follow my videos, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can keep it from landing in your hair and building a nest. What does that mean? You can't stop the first thought from hitting your head, but you can decide if you're gonna agree with it, if you're gonna recognize that it is your own, or if it is a thought or a program that has been inserted by advertising, marketing, or your programming growing up. The things your parents said to you as a child become your inner voice as an adult. You have the ability to decide whether you're gonna dwell on that thought. So I go, to put the credit card in, and I hear my old hood rat voice come out and go, dude, you could put in the regular and ain't nobody would know. And I was like, what the actual hell, Steve Collins? Do you still have these freaking hood thoughts of scarcity, poverty mentality? What the hell is wrong with you, boy? And I laughed, and then I realized I was having a conversation in my head with myself while the guy next to me putting in gas was wondering why I was so amused with silence because there was an epic battle going on in my mind for the savings of 14 freaking dollars. Now get this, I know, I know none of y'all saints have ever had anything like this ever happen to y'all, but can you believe, I can't believe 31 years of working on mindset, faith, belief, um, uh, just developing this strong steel mind. I can't believe it. it's still stupid thoughts like, hey man, just put in a dollar ninety five. Ain't ain't, ain't, no, ain't nobody gonna know about it. <laughs> it's a real car. Ain't nobody gonna know. Really, really, hood rat Steve Collins. Is there still that part of you inside that's willing to? Do I I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, big dog, ain't nobody gonna sell your soul for fourteen bucks. You're putting in that supreme. You're paying the extra fourteen bucks. I'm just saying, it's the little things that are really the big things. Do you ever have temptations or ideas or thoughts that go through your mind that you go, yeah, no, not going to do that. Guess what? Nobody would have known. Nobody would have known. Not a single person would have known, right? But I would have. My subconscious would have. My spirit would have known that I compromised my convictions being sneaky on the altar of convenience and saving 14 bucks if I had made that one simple decision. It's the little things that are really the big things. It's those little things that tear away at your soul, those compromises that you make that you think are insignificant because nobody would know or it's not a really big deal or it's not going to, you know, the, the cops at Enterprise are not going to come out and go, we think you put regular unleaded in this which requires supreme. They're, no, these are the things where you have contracts with yourself. You have agreements with yourself. And guess what? your subconscious is constantly eavesdropping and spying on your conscious. So when there's a conflict and there's not integrity in you, you cannot show up and be the powerful person that God created you to be because you're walking in compromise. So again, I give you the confession. I can't believe I had the thought. I thought that's insane that I would even have that thought. So I hope you think today and, and remember, it's the little things that are really the big things. And it's the things that you do in private and secret that you get rewarded for in public. So I hope today that you'll take your standards to another level so that you can begin to experience the sense of deserving the great things that life has to offer you because you're making the tough choices. All right? You guys have a great Saturday.